But as for today, we're going to review this Continental Divide double IPA, and that's intentional on a theological uh, like perspective here in a second. We're going to talk about that. Uh, but this is from Tradition Brewing I can't Co. wait, actually. I'm, yeah. I'm holding back. <laughs> uh, here, local in uh, Newport News, Virginia. Newport so, News, Virginia bef- produced this yeah. double IPA. Yeah. And uh, I thought this was very fitting because when I think of IPAs, I think of Presbyterians. <laughs> IPA Bitter. stands for Itinerant <laughs> Presbyterian Association. <laughs> But you said like a lot of Reformed Baptists go for this, but yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. The first time I was like introduced to IPAs, it was by Presbyterians. Mm. And uh, actually, I, I knew one guy. We were sitting at a bar, and he saw a guy order an IPA and drink it straight from the bottle. And, and he goes, "Man, I want to just punch that guy in the face for not drinking that out of a glass." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "That's a little bit extreme, don't you?" Think? It's more action than no. we Presbyterians are used to. They're usually called the frozen chosen in worship. So this, <laughs> it's bitter, and you don't want to move. That's after right. You have it. All right, so disclaimer going forward. Again, I know we talked about we're going to do beer science. Oh, wait. Cheers. Cheers. To the king. To the king. To the king. All right, here we go. You know Mm. what? You know what? Mm. I'm surprised. Oh, wait. There's that bitterness at the very end. Well, it is, (laughs) but I that was relatively smooth for an IPA, like, until the end. That is a tasty beverage. For an IPA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm more of a stout guy, but uh, this... How would all right? I was gonna say, you know, eventually again, we're gonna do the rudimentary beer science dealio. Uh, but keep in mind, we are not um, professional. We're not Alton be- Brown. We don't. Yeah, we know nothing about food science. We are beer laymen. <laughs> all right, but I the, can tell you that yeah. this tastes good. Yeah, this, <laughs> <laughs> we'll It'll break get down you drunk. eventually. Yeah, eventually we'll do a breakdown of the hops and the various flavors and such. We're not there yet. But what I was gonna say is, yeah, we're beer laymen. But on the theological side of things, I'm the lay person. Here's the pastor. That was a really important part of the intro that I think we glossed over. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's really good, though. All right. All right. So I like it. I mean, it has a initially a very sweet taste. It does. like Not not, not candy cane sweet, but it's got, no. like for beer, it's, it's a sweet and smooth taste. The bitterness comes at the end. It I does. Mean, it's a double IPA. So, yeah. It, what's the, we got, I'm trying to see where the 7.8. Out by volume content, so there you go. Yeah, it actually it, it gives you a breakdown, which is actually cool. I like. Okay, so growing up, eating cereal a Saturday morning, what Where's you would always going? look at the back <laughs> of the box is... while you're eating cereal because there was always something to look at. Okay, so <laughs> no, no, your doctor, I'm no, not, your grains, the, right? That's right. <laughs> cereal grains. No, uh, don't don't do this on a Saturday morning. <clears throat> but <laughs> while you're well, drinking, yeah, yeah. It, um, yeah, they've got Keep cool graphics here and. Uh, Telling you what all is in it, what all went into it. And, yeah, whatever uh, uh, a Columbus Chinook semi co sentinel hops. Centennial. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's right. English. Um, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure point. someone out there actually is aware of what that is, where they could find it. But I, I can just tell you, yeah, it is rather tasty. I'll tell you what, this would be great for. This is. It makes me think of springtime. This mm-hmm. would be a good one. Track it down. I know. Um, Part of the reason for this show too, and doing uh, beer reviews, is we're gonna you're gonna notice we're gonna focus on local beers, yeah, because we are starch proponents of Christian localism. That's we'll right. talk about that here in a second. Um, but even if you're not local, I would say I think part of this we should give folks like a scale of one to ten. How good is this? Mm-hmm. And like, even though you know you might be in Washington, South Africa, whatever, would this be worth like trying to order online? And I would say if you're an, if you're an, <laughs> Thank you for that. If you're <laughs> if you're an IPA kind of guy or gal, uh, this actually I would think might be worth ordering from afar because it's like a, like it makes me think of springtime cookouts, mm-hmm. right? I think this would go good with a good burger. Yeah. So, no, no. You talking about that? Definitely. Yeah. I would. Uh, I would have this during a cookout. And especially if you if you get a nice and frosty, yeah. A nice frosty. I, was I say, love the tagline here: "Divide and conquer." That's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Newport News was special to you. The reason why Continental Divide was special to me is my folks literally live 30 minutes from the Continental Divide in Colorado. Oh, nice. So it uh, just reminded me like, oh, hey, this is where, it. though it's speaking of division, our unity, you know, Newport News, Colorado, we're united over this beer. So yes. take over that. This beer and the Constitution. <laughs> and, the, and the scripture. We're going to get into that too. <laughs> and also uh, the body of Christ. And the body of Christ, yeah. 